Yes, of course, one moment we will connect to Andromedan consciousness that works specifically with healing formats that are custom and usable to that of the human collective. One moment. <clears throat> Greetings. Greetings. Mm, healing. Healing is a word that you use to describe fixing something that's broken. That's not what healing is. Healing is more than just fixing broken problem. It is gaining realignment with its most natural state. That means the body. That means the energy. And that means the whole thing that is encased inside of the experience that's in front of you. So let's start with first the understanding of healing. What's wrong with your body? Your finger is hurting. Does that mean that your finger is now broken and your finger has less connection with your body? No, your finger still is there. It's out of alignment and not out of alignment with the bones and tendons and muscles, but there is an out of alignment energy inside of your field and that experience gets brought to you to show you that there is a misalignment. Now, there are other ways that humans become ill or affected or afflicted, and those deal with contracts and energies that are very important for the human in the alteration of their life. And this is mostly long-term illnesses or mystery illnesses. But when you have something in front of you that you know is not in line and that you know isn't working, this is something that's different. So comparing the two is simple. The second and path-worthy, the blueprint, the contract, these are all something that you can't control directly. You have to find the reason for that inside of you. And this is simple. This is simply finding the area that you're afflicted, finding the collaborating chakra or theme of chakra, and then asking yourself those very important questions. What is going on with my chakra? Why do I feel out of balance in this area? Why do I feel out of tune with this? And most of the time when you're dealing with contractual things, you won't find those answers. So all that you can do is say, I am going to work on myself and being myself and finding the pathway through this. Now, this is something humans don't often want to hear, that you're sick for a reason and you have to deal with being sick. That is counterintuitive to a group of humans who have begun to understand their creating and to begin to understand how they are influencing. Those things are still on a very deep soul level showing you something. So what is it showing you? That's the most important question for these second types of illnesses. If you are chronically sick and you are chronically ill, you can't do other things in your life. What are you missing out on? You can't go to work. Is that work fulfilling? No, then maybe it has to do with that work. Maybe it has to do with your job not being fulfilling, you not being inside of a passion. So the themes are important there. Now, the physical ailments will go back to that round, the very first type of physicalness that's out of alignment. Now we can ask those questions again. What are the themes inside of the chakras and what chakras are in alignment with the themes and areas of affliction? And the answer will give you your answer. Your heart chakra is connected to your hand. Your finger is hurting because there is something in that line of your heart that is most afflicted. Now, the heart connects to many parts of your body, your arms, your shoulders, your chest, your lungs. 
those are all parts, your skin and muscles that are around them. So if these areas are afflicted, there can be many reasons. And the reasons do show in the very way that it manifests. Your finger, if it's a fingertip that's cut, this has to deal with a part of your heart that exchanges with the world. Think of the symbolism. Your hands touch other things. Your hands move other things. Your hands are busy in the world with other creations. So how does your heart create? Your heart creates in that way. So find that balance that you have lost in the way that your heart manipulates the world, in the way that your heart exchanges with the world. Now, see, it doesn't matter what the specific part of it is, because all of these specific parts, it would take you a dozen human years to learn all of the very specific locations of the body, why they're afflicted, how they're afflicted, and the reason. And this would be an interesting venture for a human who is excited enough to learn those things, so you would have a cheat sheet. Um, my fingertip is hurting. I must have to worry about how my heart is affecting my actions with relationships of other humans that are directly involved with my work. Or the middle of the finger, the same thing, but with your family. And the beginning of your finger, the same thing, but with other people in general. So yes, this is an important thing, but not for our purposes here. For our purposes here, you have to understand the energies that are related with the chakra itself. What is the theme? The theme is love. Where are you not loving? Where are you not connecting? Where are you not bringing your connections? The heart with the finger, the heart with the elbow, the heart with the lung, the heart with the heart. All of those things being affected, it's just love. You have to go through the system of yourself to know these things. You have to work on these, because if you don't, you will repeat affliction repetitively. You will say, oh, I've worked on it somewhat. Now my finger is better. I'm going to um, continue my life, not connecting to my heart, not connecting to my family. And your finger will get hurt again or some other part of your arm, depending on where you're not loving. So do that work first. Now, the techniques, the techniques are a following pathway of that. You have to follow the emotional places where the physical layers are connected. So now instead of saying the very specific cheat sheet that you have, now you're going to be general in that, visualizing your heart and asking the question to your heart, how am I not loving? And you will see yourself ask the question and the energy of the question goes to the center of the heart. The center of the heart will ripple outwards into the whole heart and then pass your heart into the body. Through those vibrations, you can hear sounds once you've visualized this, once you've tuned your internal hearing to that, and the sound waves will be simple sounds at first. And those sounds will just be sounds. But start training your ear, and not your physical ear, your inner intuitive ear to those sounds. And very soon, once you practice this, many days, many weeks, or many months, you can start hearing small words through those sounds. And then you will be able to start hearing multiple sounds and multiple words. Eventually, after you practice a year or two years or three years, you will start hearing sentences perfectly formed. My leg is swollen. My toe is hurting. My root chakra is involved. Now I will visualize the question, what is going on with my sense of safety, my netting and grounding to the earth? What is going on with my general physicality 
in being a part of Earth and release that as a question beamed energy into the root chakra and let it vibrate out past the root into the body. Watch the waves become sounds and the sounds become your answer. And this will be the best technique for all of you who can become attuned to your self-understanding. But make no mistake, my friends, even with that technique, if you are not continuing the practice of doing the expiration of those very chakras and knowing the, the root problem and stem problem of all, all of these emotional imbalances, it won't help you keep that wellness.